Welcome to Dan ARG YouTube. Now, bio digester suck away. Now, be the latest suck away where people they put for their house now. Make I leave you with Jacobian and the man where they do this suck away. Make you for know the reason why he named this suck away bio digester suck away. Enjoy the video. Uh, this is just a well for water now. Okay. So. I just want to wait a little bit for is this the one I saw that there was argument about the plumbing? I think it's this one. You're sure or it's around somewhere around the house? Is this the only one you do, you constructed here? No, this is the, no, actually one is behind. One is behind, okay. That there that means units. there are two units. Yeah. So we have to be a bit careful so we don't step on the pipe. So this is the... Good afternoon everyone if you are just connecting. We are live here with Canon Biotech Environmental Solutions Limited. The guys who are the... Uh, who are involved with... Um, the yeah the construction of biodigester which is the new soke way the 21st century right <laughs> okay so which one is this one now this one is the drain the drain yes yeah, it's called the drain okay this is where all the treatments the waste converted there's to no fluid. smell at all though. even waste, if somebody was using yeah, it now yeah, yeah. The waste converted to liquid will come here. The waste yes. converted to liquid, liquid will come here. here. So what happens to the liquid? It this just goes now, to the ground? Yes, it goes to the ground. You can use this for landscaping. If you have uh, guidings or uh, farm. Yes. You could put your pipe here and extract the liquid manure, which is MPK manure, to do your landscaping. And you see you have green vegetables on your land. Or green okay what of the gas for cooking where will you get it from the gas is a different chamber entirely from this do you have that here no it's not here yet but if you want to if you want to do the gas that means you have to install a pipe okay from this point this, Th this is another the other one you did these are just units. These okay are this chamber. okay and you have one there so where i'm standing here now is the digester chamber where all the human waste empty. okay the human waste will come from all, the pipes. from all of this yes. way it and then enter here, here. When okay it empties in this chamber eh, the yes. enzyme will act on it before the enzyme start acting on it the water leaves the waste and comes to the treatment chamber okay and here the treatment that takes place here the odor will be extracted from here okay to convert that liquid now to manure and it stored here Okay. Now mm -hmm. this place is constructed as soak away. It's called the drain. Yes. The water comes in pockets, less than five liters or ten liters per flush. Yes. So as it comes, the human waste is retained here yeah. to be acted upon by the enzymes, okay. which are already existing here. The enzyme will then liquefy the waste. The carcass now will be liquefied to join these parts. Uh, it will liquefy yes, it, yes. turn it to liquid. It will, totally. Yes, it will now join this chamber. Then from here, the extraction of the odor takes place here before it comes here. Okay. So once you open it, you don't see any waste. Any so once odor, you open this, no yes, odor, no, no waste, odor, no. nothing. That's it. So now this liquid, you say it can be it used. It is MPK manure. The process it of is MPK manure. Yes, the process of conversion. That's why it's a biological enzyme. It is called biological filtration of human waste. Okay. Treatment on site. It's just like imagine you having your pavone rice that has stone. Because this rice is small, it's uncooked. You cannot separate the stone from the rice. But once you parboil and put in a filter, you see the size of the rice has increased. The stone can now find a way out of the filter. And at the end of the day, if every water in that parboiled rice drains out, that rice can serve two, three days, it will not spoil. Okay. But if you leave the rice and water in the pots, the next day it will grow more. 
Okay. Now, there is this uh, argument about plumbing work done here that some of these pipes are redundant. They are not supposed to be visible and all of that. Is, does plumbing, your job, does it involve plumbing? Our job does not include plumbing. Okay. Ours is to do the digester and tell the plumber how to channel the part by plumbing into the digester. Okay. This one is a different job entirely. Okay, it's a different. The user and the plumber do this. Okay, okay. Without any influence to us. Okay. So we come and we say, you have to separate the work liquid waste and the human waste separately. Okay. Like the waste water coming from the bedroom. Yes. Cannot carry the same pipe with the uh, human waste. Okay. It has to be separated because it's only the waste from the toilet that comes to the digester. Okay. Why the kitchen waste or bedroom waste enters the next chamber? Yeah. So that the enzymes will not be reduced by the volume of water that enters the, the bowel digester chamber. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. So basically, uh, another question that I also want to ask. The people who already have existing soakaways, who intend to change it to digester, what, what, well, it, what it, how can you do that? It is doable, but it will cost you more money. Okay. Because the fact that septic tanks can take up to 6, 7, 8 or 12 feet deep. Imagine when we are talking about 3 feet of bowel digester. You see the difference from 12 feet to seven to three feet. We have nine feet to some few. That will cost you money. And because the under of the septic tank that was constructed is blind. Yes. So because it is blind, our own is not one chamber. We have multiple chambers that comes together as a power digester. But in a septic tank, it is one box. Okay. It is one box that is 12 feet down. Then you have the soak away that is probably 12 feet down. Okay. So for you now to get it up to 3 feet and divide it into 2 units. Then you have the bowel digester unit, the treatment unit, and the soak away or the drain. So you see the conversion of this process will take more money from you. Okay. You have now, now, constructing the conventional soak away and constructing a bio digester in terms of the pocket yes. what's the difference in prices the bio digester is far far more cheaper okay so conventional soccer away what, what will conventional it cost conventional soccer away people spend up to seven eight or nine hundred thousand naira. i had that discussion with a client i went to visit at of uh, sacrament that the, we are doing two units for them now we are charging a particular amount for the two units they are telling us it's even cheaper now, doing one sock away for uh, a duplex of five rooms, it will cost them 900000 naira to do that. And now we are giving you less space, easy to construct, maintenance free, and even cheaper. So, it's so and, and with biodigester, you don't need to call these trucks no, that evacuate that uh, say, human waste. That's why we say no evacuation. It no evacuation. It is maintenance free. Maintenance free. The enzymes we inoculate at the point of construction, they are in powdering form. Once we activate them, this enzyme begin to reproduce in millions. Wow. Once you give them physics to eat, they begin to hash. You understand? Hmm. Imagine in the medical field, why are antibiotics stored in by, by the way, you're, by the way, uh, the person talking to us is a medical doctor by profession. Dr. Charles Akoguma, Dr. Charles, the medical doctor, and he, he aside this work, this prof, uh, work he's doing uh, of biodigester, he also does community health. Yes. You know, and uh, based on that, this is even a part of community health because uh, it takes this biodigester takes away the smell. Yeah. Uh, you can't it find can't any any. Contamination, Control cockroach, centipedes, yes. everything Control, takes away. Control of disease outbreak. Imagine a scenario where you go to a community that don't have good portable drinking water and they use open defecation as their means. Now, when you have 
water contaminated with human physics. Of course, there ought to be outbreak. You can have cholera outbreak. You can have typhoid outbreak. Now, when this outbreak happens and you don't have health facility to cater for them, it becomes a problem. If I am in the health field, which I am, and we don't have bed space to accommodate such emergencies, I think outside the bus, why not we control this outbreak from the source? From the source. That's Instead why, of uh, yes. so when the we end. build biodigesters and public toilets, it will not affect groundwater. As such, this outbreak will be curtailed. It will not get to hospital where we overwork ourselves and we don't have additional pay. So I will work less as a doctor. I will aim at solving a problem that prevents this outbreak, and I'll aim for both sides. It's a win-win situation. Okay, Doctor Charles, let's go to to other parts the other place you have the tank by the way for those of you just connecting good afternoon welcome to this live stream we are talking about this new soke way that although has been existing for years but it's, it's still new to nigeria nigerians are gradually embracing it it's taking them time you know as a people we are <laughs> uh, somewhat allergic to changes uh, because uh, we are naturally skeptical about things until they begin to manifest. Um, so this is another um, digester. digester. I should just so uh, the, 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 name bio this, the name for this the name for this is biodigester. Okay, so I should not call it soak away again. No, 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 it's not soak away. At all. Biodigester. biodigester. And what it does is that it. It, uh, the, the bowel aspect of it is biological enzymes. Okay. The enzymes are living enzymes, but okay. they are freeze dry in powdery form. Yes. When they come in contact with the water, they begin to hash into immigrants and adults. Yes. And this time they begin to degrade the physics that comes in contact with them. Yes. You understand? So their potency is preserved by freeze drying them. Let them come in powdery form. Like okay. I was trying to say, I said, antibiotics are preserved in powdery form. Once you mix with water, sterile water, to be injected, the more it stays, that water keeps on changing colors. It tells you that the bacteria inside that makes up that antibiotics are active. You understand? Very well. Yeah, so that's exactly why when we say bio, we are abbreviating biological. And you know anything biological, it means it's living. Yes. So the enzymes we are talking about, they are living enzymes. Okay. But are presented in powdery form. Okay. So once we install, we activate these enzymes and they start functioning. And then they neutralize yes. Yes. all of the potentials of the human waste. That is called biological degradation. Degra biological they degradation. Break. Okay. They break everything. They break everything. It so all this quick. calling of trucks to no, come no, and empty... To come and empty human waste from destroy, from soak away, is it it doesn't exist anymore. And and I hear that thing is about uh, it starts from about thirty thousand yes, naira. Thirty to fifty, and they won't go once because you imagine when you have twelve feet deep. Yes. And you have water and all those things pile up. Yes. Because it's like you are emptying a tank of. Uh, less and than wherever they are going to discharge, wherever they are going to discharge, is it's also a pollution that, and a yes. and a potential risk, uh, risk to so the environment. Yes, yes, so this is encouraging everyone. If you are currently constructing your new house, uh, you have to get in touch with. Uh, Canon Biotech. Canon Bi Biotech Environmental Solutions yeah. to build biodigester yes, for you instead of soak away tank, instead of septic so tank away. soak away and all of those uh, things which are now of the past um the main thing is that the construction is very is much cheaper than the conventional one it's not deep at all it's very shallow it's uh, what's the dimension what was the dimension the dimension is uh, 600 millimeter by 800 millimeter by 1600 millimeter so this what's is that in feet width length that's three feet three feet the deep is three feet okay the, the width? width is three feet the length can be six to twelve feet depending on the number of uh, okay so this around. length now we are seeing this is about one is six nine, yes nine feet nine feet the length is nine feet okay here is three feet here okay three feet, and, the depth is three feet. and the depth is just three feet, three feet. nothing more 
So you don't have to make that heavy construction of uh, and how long will it take you to construct a digester? Two, three days maximum. Two to three this days. This thing was prepared within three days. Three days you were, you were done. Yes, yes. Everything. Everything. So means if I go to the toilet now and I flush it, what happens? For those who want to understand Once the very flush, beginning, yes. I go to the toilet. Yes. When I'm done, yes. I flush. So from the moment I flush, yes. what happens? Now, once you flush, your waste comes into the biodigester. Okay, from where? From where exactly? This is the toilet waste. Okay. Okay. So it comes, this when I flush, it comes flush, from here. It comes here. And goes this into the digester. Yes. This, this very first chamber. This, this one here, yes. right? This chamber is okay. called digester. Okay. It is three by four. Okay. Okay. Now, from here, the treatment starts because enzymes are here already waiting to act okay and there's a filtration chamber here equally created okay so that it can sustain the enzymes not to be flushed away okay now the treatment on site is the physics drops here with the water okay the water filters off from this chamber and comes to the treatment chamber here okay now now, now, the, now the water the water does it can we drink it can what can we do with the water it's very important yes. to know what we can do with the water, water cannot be drinking okay can it, not... it can go further by doing a treatment plant okay where you have to purify the water and recycle it for use for use yes we so can this, cook with it we can do yes, stuff with yes. it because so the I, level, I know they do that in germany yes. they recycle the level, water from waste the level of this bio digester is on request okay the request here is not for recycled water okay so what we do here the end product of this waste it is mpk manure Okay, the, the, the client wants MPK manure. Yes. Okay. The, no, the, either the client wants it or not. Okay. But the end product of this process of biodigester ends in MPK manure. Which now, is used for landscaping, for landscaping and doing your garden. If you want to, it can, it's an organic manure okay. that can be used to your plant. If you have a garden or whatever, take it to your farm. So imagine I am a client now. I want you to do a digester for me but this time i don't want the end product to be mpk manure instead okay. i want cooking gas okay. what happens because it's one of the things yes. we told the clients uh, that um, okay. potential clients that okay. it was going to be cooking yes. gas that as is well. here we harmonize bow digester and bow gas digester okay, okay. so the bow digester now collects the waste okay and yes. feeds the biogas chamber. The biogas chamber now produces the gas out. Okay. Yes, yeah. So instead of it to end in this drain, yes, it feeds the biogas digester. And it is equivalent to know that the weight, the waste we generate is equivalent to the gas. To so the gas we produce, okay. Human waste is not much compared to cow dung. Ah. So we create a place where you can inoculate cow waste. Okay, yes, you create a valve, put a cover, yes, that you can get cow dump, mix it with water, make it the paste, yes, and you pour it inside. Yes, it comes in, it's to feed your biogas digester, mm -hmm. and will give you gas. Oh, now I get it. So that's how the system works. Okay, so biodigester is first. If you want to go a step further, you could not get biogas. Okay, so now I get it. So, so, so that means for gas. Uh, to come out, substantial gas to come out from human waste, that means you would, like, you would most likely install this in a hotel. Beautiful, that's it. Where you have a lot of human activity. Exactly. Hotels, wells, stadium, wells. Anything uh, like schools. Public schools. Public schools. Yes, garage. So people who yes. own public schools yes. now, this, this, this is even a fantastic technology for them. Lab. They will have gas to cook, uh, to do their practicals in their lab. Or their home they, economics lab, they can have gas. They don't need to buy cooking gas. No way. That's it. So you will be done with liquefied natural gas. Please ask questions. Done. Please ask questions if you want to. Uh, those of you that are watching, um, Mr. Robosa Lawrence wants my contact. I'll send it to you after this live stream. Uh, Wasi Olachundi, uh, thanks for thinking solutions to these problems. Yes, thank you very much. Um, just feel free. To ask questions um, of this new, relatively new uh, technology that we're introducing into Nigeria, 
uh, we are doing away with the old uh, conventional soak aways and we are now introducing what is known as digesters so two things we are talking about recently is the construction of uh, houses with bricks and then uh, bio digester for waste management management is the most effective environment friendly waste management system that has just come on board and of course we have medical dr charles who is uh, the brain behind all of this idea coming uh, one of the brains behind all of this idea coming to this part of uh, nigeria and uh, the phone number is there we have left it there where the contact number where you can contact him and of course he will deploy the the technology to your project site what is the cost of this project somebody's asking uh, how can waste be collected and used okay i've seen questions how can waste be collected and used the waste is not really collected it is it is it's talking about the human waste coming from the toilet so we don't collect it hello I think we can go back to the yes, chamber yes. so that you will see it. Let's re explain over and over again. We are ready to explain this over and over again. So, so th this is waste here coming from the toilet. This is waste coming from the toilet. And then another toilet is here. So both of them, another toilet waste is coming here. And then they now get... When you flush. When you flush. After usage enters the bowel digester unit now in this unit this box here we have enzyme biological enzymes here we have a filtration chamber put in place here that filtration chamber helps the water that comes with the waste to filter the water and retain the physics so it retains the physics here to retain the physics here the water comes here and the other that is possible existing with the water is being absorbed here and is being treated here. Now that water, after extracting the odor here, comes here as LPK manure, an organic manure liquid. So there are three functions yeah. I can see here. Yeah. Function number one, this is where it, the, the biodigester. This is biodigester, where it enters. Yeah. This is where enzymes act on it. Yeah. Function number two, this is here. Yes. This is the treatment chamber. Treatment chamber. Yes. Then function number three. The drain. This is the drain. Yes. Which serves as the soak away. Serves as the yeah, soak away. Soak away. Yes. Okay. So now when the uh, water has been uh, extracted from chamber one to chamber two, from chamber two to chamber three, leaving behind the human waste or the physics or the excreta. Now these enzymes present in chamber one, which is about the yester, will begin to liquefy the waste. They act on the waste. Yes. They eat it up. Okay. And they turn that waste to liquid. That liquid will now drain out into chamber two. Then further, it will be extracted from that chamber two. Whatever order that comes with it is retained or trapped in chamber two. Okay. Then it enriches the chamber three. Yes. Where is the drain? You okay. understand? Okay. Thereby making here this uh, chamber three MPK richer. And okay. order free. So here you can now open up this valve. We have a valve here. You open yes. up this valve. Yes. Then you insert a pipe here or a hose. Yes. And put a pumping machine. You can pump it into your guiding if you have anyone. To so water your yes, water your flowers. To water your flowers and everything. Exactly. So and, and it's perfectly in order. Yes. It's order free. It's order, order free. free. We are standing here now. This thing is in use. We have workers here. And they are using it. Yes, I'm not a single smell. I, a, I'm not perceiving yeah, one it's thing. It's in use right now. The workers wow. have been here for almost a month. Yes. Since we finished this thing, they've been using it. If we go inside, we will think we'll go inside and have a screen too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, so let's uh, yes. take a look at it. We'll go uh, take a look at it, yes. Okay. So if you are just connecting, uh, this is Dr. Charles. Medical Dr. Charles, by the way. Akpoguma, who is taking us round everywhere in this construction site to where they just installed the new soccer way new soccer way that is maintenance free good afternoon sir well done that is maintenance free yes i'm watching oh my god oh la 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 la
find out for you, sir. Okay, you see, I'll get and this is the toilet. Yes. Just have a few toilets. So this when I flush. This is we are flushing now. Yes. You see, the water goes out, carries the physics, it goes straight to the digester. Yes. Then from there the treatment starts and it moves to chamber two, extraction of the other chamber three. Okay. Then the waste are retained in chamber one as the digester unit, where the enzymes will act on the waste and liquefy it. Then it joins chamber two. The others are extracted from the fluids. Then it goes to chamber three, where it's finally known as NPK manure. Somebody has asked a question. What will it cost to fix this in about five bedroom flat? This is a six bedroom two place. Yes. And we are giving them two units because of the proximity of the toilets. Okay. To the where the diaspora will be located. Okay. Because we don't use chambers. We use beds. Okay. Connected beds. So that we don't wait where we the pipe will be too long. And when you flush with just three, four liters, you won't be able to pull the physics to the diesel units. Yes. Because the journey if you travel will be too long. That's why we always want to say for a duplex, we consider two or three as the case may be. Yes. And sometimes we give concession. For the first one, you pay the full amount. For the second one, we might say, okay, let's give you some percentage out of it. It can be 10% discount for the second unit and the third unit as well, 10%. So you won't pay 100% for the first unit as you did for the second and third. And third. Yes. So, so you have not given a, an estimate yes. for a five bedroom yes. flat. Like you mean one building that has yes. five bedrooms? Yes. So one building I want to assume one. that, let us assume yes. that all of the rooms are master bedrooms. Yes, that's it. That's it. I mean, for today, yes. in the 21st so, century, yes. 2021. Assuming a standard building, okay, a standard or modern building with five bedroom. Let's assume it's five bedroom and suit, yeah. and a visitor's toilet. That is six toilets. Yes. That is the standard way of building. Yes. Now, if you have that, we should be considering the large expense of this toilet. If they are scattered, we might need two, at minimum. Or three. Now the estimate for one, like I said, could cost you up to three hundred and fifty thousand naira, or a little below. Then the others we can say two to eighty. Okay. So by the time you calculate three fifty, two eighty, which is about six thirty, and another two eighty, which is about seven uh, thereabouts. Okay, or eight about. So you just got that less than nine hundred thousand naira will get all this fixed. In a five bedroom. Yes. Uh, 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 flat. Yes. Yeah, so. So, so 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 now and not just that they don't have to call trucks anymore no, to come no. and ev evacuate there's no maintenance it's maintenance free maintenance free the enzyme installed at the point of ins uh, ins uh, installation would definitely begin to reproduce that's why it's, bio it's biological yes we all know that anti biological means it's active it's alive so give them physics make them reproduce that's all that's all it is wow so thank you very much, Dr. Charles. You, all of you have heard uh, is introducing the new sokewe known as biodigester. What it does basically is to neutralize feces and then uh, and then make the end product uh, either biogas, which is cooking gas, or or water for for landscaping and all of that. So that's Dr. Charles who has explained everything we need to know. So from today, if you want to construct your house or your house project is already on, just call the phone number attached to this uh, live stream and uh, you, you get the job done. Uh, same price or even cheaper, most, most likely always cheaper than the conventional soke way and this time you don't have to ever bother about evacuation because the process ne totally neutralizes the phases so thank you very much for watching this live stream and uh, 
let me see someone is asking thanks for taking my first question my follow-up question is supposing you don't have a garden to use the end product if you don't have a garden to use the end product we let it drain away that's why the soccer way is purpose installed yes if you tell us you want to use it for landscaping we put a bucket there that you have some fluid to use for your landscaping if not we let it drain away. it will just drain it away it drains underground it drains underground and because it's less than five feet Yes. It does not affect groundwater. Yes. You can do your soccer way close to it and your borehole uh, ball close to it and you will not feel a taste of it of because it. it's less than five feet. Yes, exactly. Okay. Let me see. Please put the number so that we can see. Okay. I'll put the number right now in uh, comments. Yes. I'll also put the flyer. Yes. I've put the number again. So I've put the number there and then of course the flyer is also here for you to contact. They have they are on Facebook. They are on Facebook and you also have the email that you can see and then the phone number is also here. So make sure you call for your new construction project. Say goodbye to Sokeway and welcome to Biodigester. It is the best thing you can do for your building right now. All those cockroach, uh, centipedes, uh, lizard, rats, and all those things that, that go to your soak away, find a way to your soak away to start uh, messing around is goodbye to all of them. They can't get near anymore. And then what makes this whole thing fascinating is that it turns everything the waste to odorless. No odor anymore. Environmental friendly. All those flushing of toilet and everywhere will be smelling is goodbye. There's nothing like that. So it just takes it up. So thank you very much. I will leave the the contact once more. And uh, so that you will be able to get in touch with uh, my brother and friend here who does the job and it will do it perfectly and deliver in good time like he said the construction work and the whole project is just a two maximum three days and it's done so that's it thank you everyone and bye for now i beg help us share this video if you never subscribe to dan ARG youtube try make you subscribe so that make you for the hear all the things where they happen for a do state make i leave you now with this video make you help us share thank you for watching dan ARG youtube